to get lockered resale. I'm Nancy and I shop thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, and abandoned storage lockers when I can find them at a reasonable price and all in hopes of finding treasures that I can sell in my store at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta, Kansas, and um, I sell on eBay, and I sell at low prices so that you can come in and buy in my store and resell at a profit. Um, so let's get into the videos, and I'll see you in a minute. Good morning. It's Nancy with Get Lockered, and today we are at Paramount Marketplace Antique Vintage and New Resale Store over in Utah. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know, even know what street we're on. Anyway, I just followed the GPS to get here, and... Uh, so we're over here in Wichita, and we're going to start a series of videos uh, going through this mall. I brought my GoPro, but sadly, Emmy was playing with my um, black light flashlight yesterday, and I forgot to put it back in my store. It's not her fault. It's my fault. I should have remembered to put it back in my purse. She was looking at glass to see if it glows. And... Um, so I forgot to put it back in my purse. So let's go inside. They're about to open. And since I have my GoPro, I will not run out of... If my phone battery starts to die, I can just start with my GoPro and we'll go from there. So it won't be a situation like in Augusta where I didn't get the front of the store videoed. So let's go in and see what they've got. Okay, first thing we walk in the door, you can see that this place is huge. So let's just go this way and see what we've got. Antique improver stuff. It's a pretty bench. All these really nice walking sticks, canes, pointers. They're handmade. And I don't know this is furnishing and home accents. So it's kind of a basket. Step stools. And succulents. This is booths 337, 20% off. Sale does not include sale or firm tags. I don't know how much you can see with the light from behind. Those are beautiful lamps. At some point we might get to a place where the music's a little too loud. And this was a treadle sewing machine table turned into with a Tiles turned into a top and a small table. It's a cute little cabinet. Some books. Oh, I love this. $550 china cabinet. It's beautiful. A vintage old stool. I remember those old chairs. That's a commode. And there's some really nice, these are pretty chairs, kind of Victorian. This old school desk with a lamp on it. A wooden steamer trunk. This is beautiful. 
Oh, it's a Mikasa crystal bowl. It's beautiful. I don't see it marked Mikasa anywhere. Maybe it used to have a sticker. I don't know how Mikasa does their crystal. It's a pretty rough set of rocking chairs. It's like, like a old like they used to put ice on there and it'd keep things cold up here. Nice rocking chairs. The magazine table. That's a pretty table. The way it's kind of distressed from being painted over the years and then the paint stripped off. This is beautiful. I like this little chair. These are pretty cabinets. This is a number three clock. Some other little vintage items. It's got an eagle on it. It's an old flask. I have a brass tray like this, only mine is like, I think, 36 inches round. That gives me a good price for what to try to sell it at. Maybe I can display, display the brass again in my new store, which will be opening September 1st at 10 a.m. at 217A West 7th Street in Augusta right across the highway from Gate Casey's convenience store behind the Taco Tico. Look at this great big rooster. That's Cluck Norris. Sadly, his feathers have been bent here. Thank you for shopping at Paramount Market. Oh, they've got baskets. I don't know that I'll be buying anything, but let's get one just in case. Well, they have actually have carts. Over here, there's a jewelry cabinet. I don't want to carry a basket. Let's put this back. This is awkward to me. If I get stuff, I'll go come back and get a basket. So, beautiful jewelry. Ooh. It's pretty. Somebody likes brooches. Somebody mentioned in my last video of the other Paramount Mall in Augusta that they couldn't really see what I was looking at because I was kind of going through it too fast. So if there's anything here that you'd like me to come back and take better pictures of and get a price on for you, just let me know and I can make arrangements to come back and get better pictures for you so that you can see what's what's all here. This is a spinny one. Pretty earrings. <coughs> There's kind of crystally looking jewelry over here. Bracelets, multi stone jewelry sets, like earrings and rings and things. My daughter used to have one of these. I don't know if she still has it or not. She got it when she was like 14. She's in her 30s now. Very pretty stuff. Sunglasses, more earrings. More bracelets down here. Even more jewelry over here.
And these are in the locked cabinets, so I think they must be the good stuff. And then there's more earrings over here. Look at that skull. That's cool. Embellished. Mm, this is a pretty table. We've got more jewelry over here. And this has lots of jewelry on it. More brooches and necklaces. Things over here. We'll just keep going this way. It says Broadway. Oh, there's more jewelry back here even. I'm just going to go all the way straight across the... All the way down to that end. Hot Wheels cars. Some kind of a... This fusion mineral paint. Got all kinds of this stuff. Over here they've got femora and chicken egg cups. Antique things here. Christening dress. Some more femora back here. It's beautiful plate. Way up there. A rocking horse. Some old blue things. I don't know what MEHL is. I don't know if it's cornmeal or what. A salt box, okay. But that's salt, so I don't know. And bean pot. Boned dishes. Over here they've got candy and soda. Oh my goodness. Look at that fan vase. Blown glass vase. Beautiful. I love that. And look at the glass pitcher and the vase. These are beautiful pieces. Amber, moon and stars. Banana boat. Oh, okay. It's cool lamp. This one's electric. Look at this mid-century blown glass cornucopia. That is gorgeous. This is an actual oil lamp from Dietz. What's the price on that? Fifty-eight dollars. Huh. I don't know a booth number here. I'm presuming this is all the same booth down the front. Let me see if I can see a booth number. Uh. Oh, booth 7, 177 is where all these things are. Booth 177. It's a nice picture right there. If you can see it. There's kind of a glare off the glass. It's a plane coming through. Records. CDs. I don't see a booth number here. There's no tags. Over here on this wall, this says it's booth 429. 
Diana Ross. It's a vintage textile. Look at those boots. Those are so pretty. Plastic skull getting ready for Halloween. I had one of these in my store, but the edges got chipped on it. Look at this jack in a pulpit. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. A little bird cage and a clown. I used to have one similar to that in my collection. It's not Vera Bradley, but it's the style. More clowns. I love clowns. I just absolutely love clowns. This is a cute thing to do with a flower pot. Uh, not a flower pot, my goodness. A teapot that is missing its lid. Okay, over here across the way we've got booth 320. See what they're, I don't know what I'm looking at. So I, I know these things are for like hanging shelves. Like these things are for hanging shelves and things. There's a number six crop. This is an anvil, I know, for like making horseshoes and things. Little tractor seats. Look at that old, old boxing glove. Plow times and horseshoes. Old lanterns. And this, this again is booth 320. Here. And this is booth one or three sixteen. Got some needlework here. Vintage canisters, very old canisters. Totally, the apple one is broke. cushion. Is that soft? Oh, it's like wax. I hadn't thought of that. Some vintage 45s, a juicer. More needlework. Very really nice frame. Some woodwork here. Look at the kitties. They are so cute. Set of three vintage ceramic black cats, ninety dollars for the set. Come around here to booth four twenty nine. It's a little bit of tiny space. An old baby cradle thing. Something in here smells like cinnamon. Oh, whoa, run out of space here. 
can't really see all the way over there. I can't get there. Because there's literally no place to put your feet down here. But if you see anything you'd like, I can come back and try to get pictures of it. This is the other side of this. It's a beautiful quilt. And this is booth 317. very nice trinket box. This is just like a lady's bust thing. Just a figurine. There's an old bathroom pot. I think, I don't know, my grandparents had one in their bathroom for putting toilet paper in after they got running water in their bathroom. Another brass tray. This is clay. Oh, it says Avon. I didn't know that. This is beautiful. Sticky where it's been sitting out. Oh, Gold Castle. Hand painted. In Maryland. Oh, I can't read that. It's Chinese. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. And again, like I said, this is booth oh, 317. This is ironwood. Leona, wouldn't your granddaughter love that? She loves the Eiffel Tower. That looks like it's all hand stitched. Over here we come to booth, well if I can get a sticker, 702, these chickens, he's so cute, look at that witch, I love her, look at that face on her, <laughs> This is a nice vintage old purse. Some pretty baby dolls. It's a Santa shelf sitter. Nutcrackers. Some really nice bookends. There's stuff way up there. A rocket horse and it looks like birdhouse. I had a kipper and scooter when I was little. Tells you how old I am. Milk glass, compote. Look at that horse. Gorgeous. It's a, it's a dish. It's hard to 
reach over. This is really heavy. What does it say? Small orange glass bowl. Very nice. I like the color. It's not really an orange. It's well, it looks orange to you, but in this light, it looks different. It, it it's an orange-ish. I like it though. And over here we go into booth 318. Okay, state shirts. There's stuff all in the in the floor. It's really hard to kind of step in here. You have to have a ladder to get all the way up there. Look at that blown glass. Oh my god. This is green swirl vase. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really get to it. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's beautiful. That's a cool K State shirt. It's there's nowhere to step in here. It's really a nice, a very nice full booth. Look at that vase. Tall green vase with pink flowers. Yep, it's got pink flowers. Again, this is booth 318. If you see anything you'd like me to come back and look at, and we're going to come over here to booth 180. This is an umbrella stand, vintage purses, and here, oh, look at all those lamps and vases up there. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of a sea creature or something. I'm going to, or maybe a flower, at the back of a mushroom, maybe. It says it's a sea urchin sculpture. Okay. And earrings, rings. Trinket boxes. Look at that. That says it's a Murano clam. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's a crystal all the way around here. I love this. It says it's Imperial Carnival Vase. Isn't that just amazing? Oh, I love that. Look at that horse. Hand blown with stopper. <laughs> There's more stuff up to the top. Look at that beautiful blown vase. Vintage Marana, look at that. And 
we are still in booth 180. Anybody looking for a vintage mirror? Purses. Okay, now we'll go around here to booth 812. Kansas City Chief shirt. I think somebody made that into a Chief shirt out of a t shirt. Campbell's cut. Look at that roosting chicken. I saw one of these at the Goodwill. Glass Scotty Dog Dish, $8. That one looks like it's sun sun stained purple. <coughs> Old bread box. Cake. Um wait. Pretty little goats. Oh, I had a tea set like this when I was a little girl. I have one of those little dogs in my store for sale. Okay, I'm going to end this video right here. Um, because I'm at the 30 minute mark so if you see anything you'd like me to pick up then I will be happy to come back and get better pictures for you and tell you what they want for it I'm at the Paramount Marketplace in Wichita and tell me the booth number and what the item is thank you